Hello everyone, this is Anna from Cast, and today I am here to read to you. This is the book that I have for today and it's called My Visit to the Aquarium. Just a quick story about this book. I got it the other day. My mom actually found it in the street in a community bookshelf that she found when she was walking her dog. And how cool is that, right? So the author of this book... Her name is Aliki. She's an award-winning author, so let's dive in and see what she has for us. Mm -hmm. hey. Oh, look at the... They're smiling. I don't know if you can see, but they are smiling. My visit to the aquarium, and they are heading over there. Look at the... This is our little narrator. And we're in the aquarium. So let's start. Today I went to the aquarium with my little sister and my big brother. The minute we walked in, I knew we'd have fun. That's our little narr narrator. The aquarium is full of fish and they are all alive. Some of the fish and other aquatic creatures were born right here. Some were collected from the salty seas and fresh waters where they live. Here in the aquarium, they swim in their own kind of water in their own natural settings. I found out how they live just by looking. Look at the, they all look like they're smiling. Big color. Okay. We started at the tropical coral reef. It was like a sunny underwater garden. Look at all those cute colors. B busy with bright little fish. The fish live, hide, and lay their eggs. Other creatures live on the reef too. We saw stiff lacy fans, soft coral, and flower-like anemones waving in the water. Though they look like plants, they are all animals. Wow. Let's see. We saw beautiful fish with funny names. They were busy fish that never stopped working. Some poked around for food with their long noses. And there they are. A parrot fish with strong beak like teeth broke off coral to find some food inside. And a blowfish puffed up for protection. And jawfish buried themselves in the sand. Oh, I remember this one from Nemo. They all have funny names and stuff. So, um, they're written under. We saw fish cleaning other fish. They, they are helping each other. They're in community. Clownfish live safely in anemones, which would sting and eat any other fish. There they are, the clownfish. We were just talking about Nemo. One dangerous character looks like a rock, but it can snap up an unsuspecting fish. Some, a fish that's not being careful. And another has poisonous spines. This one, the lionfish. In separate, in separate tanks, we saw seahorses that live in coastal waters. A seahorse that doesn't look or swim like a fish, but it is one. We saw jellyfish, delicate marine animals from the open sea. There they are. We saw those in the movie Nemo too. I'm sorry for all the Nemo references, but that is one of my favorite movies. Um, and we saw an octopus too. There they are. Down the hall, we saw penguins. Those funny seabirds. My sister said they look like little people waddling around in suits. Penguins don't fly, but they are speedy swimmers. We saw them chasing little fish, but couldn't catch one. There they are. How many, how many penguins can you count? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's the, the other one chasing the fishies. Okay, and then we have some other fish. They like to swim close together. They were like 
hundreds and hundreds of them packed and tight, moving in never ending circles. Yes, there they are. Um, then we came to the giant kelp forest. It was three stories high and teeny with life. Here, fish laid their eggs and graze on tiny creatures that live in the quilt. Fish of all sizes swarmed around and swaying kelp plants. High in the sun sunlight, schools of sardines moved as one silver cloud. Below, bottom fish brushed the sandy floors and eels slid behind rocks. They shared their cool space with starfish. And it was feeding time. One of my favorite times too. The smaller fish darted up for food, sprinkled from above. Just then a, di a, a diver swam in to feed the big ones from a bag of fish. Hungry mouths opened and snapped shut. I could see the shark's teeth. In an aquarium, fish are fed carefully and enough so they will not be tempted to eat each other. In nature, many fish eat other fish. Others eat tiny floating creatures called plankton. Bottom fish find worms and crabs in the sand. Some fish are scavengers. They eat what other fish drop. The diver finished and he waved as he left. Bye! There it is, our diver say bye. Okay, and we're moving on. We run upstairs to my brother's favorite hall. My sister grabbed my hand. The room was dark and full of sharks. This was the hall of the cold open sea, where fish have space to grow big. The sharks were huge, and they were all kinds. As they zoomed past, I almost forgot that they were behind a thick window. I would be pretty scared, too. Some skimmed along the bottom. Mm -hmm. There were other big fish, too. So not only sharks. After that, we had fun at the tide pool. The tide pool creatures live among rocks and seaweed along the sea coast where tides rise and fall they need water to live but many can survive off of it for a while we held starfish and i touched nearly everything except the crab see all the look they're all happy grabbing onto everything they can i would too we tried to catch the bat rays Rays, sharks, and skates are the only fishies without bones in their bodies. After some lunch, we walked on. It was, it was muggy in the tropical rainforest. Living things thrive in this hot, misty climate. Look at all those colors. In fact, half of the world's wildlife species live in rainforest. We saw tiny neon tetras. There they are. Paku. This is another type of fish. A piranha? Piranha? There they are. With razor sharp teeth. We saw birds and lizards, snakes, turtles, and frogs. And then this one another type of bird next we saw perch and catfish with whiskers and fish and fishes of all kinds that live in fresh water they crowd lakes there they are in the nice beautiful waterfall right there in the back um, they crowd lakes rivers swamps and streams yes look at Turtles and other reptiles share, share the leafy habitat. A floating alligator peeked out the murky water. Reptiles need air and water to live. There's the alligator. He's huge. 
In the coastal stream exhibit, we saw fish that travel. They live in fresh and salt water and in semi-salted coastal streams that lead to the sea. There they are. It's a mixture of both. Salmon and trout are marine creatures. Salmon live mostly in the sea and so do many trout. But every year, these fish migrate to fresh streams to lay their eggs. They have to swim hard against currents to get there. They have to swim up those big streams. That sounds like a lot of work. At the bench and at the beach environments, I'm sorry. Seabirds race with the tide. Some jab their long beaks into wet sand. They look for something to eat along the shell scatter shore. From an outside terrace, we could see the marine mammals that live in the bay. Friendly sea otters floated as they fed the sea urchins, crabs, and clams. Beyond them, slippery seals flapped their rods. There are the seals over here in the back, just being cute and all. Then came the biggest treat of all, the dolphins and the bel beluga whales. What a rumpus they made. They leaped and dove, whistled and splashed, showing off their big new pool. There they are. And this one looks like they're smiling. Yes, yeah, so he's saying that she came to say goodbye. And what a great day it was. Think of it. We were in tide pools, coastal streams, coral reefs, deep seas, and splashing rivers, and we only got our hands wet.